Hey, peoples, I'm back. As you see, all the wine is gone out of there. Nothing left but the whipped cream. From the last video. Anywho, I'm just going to freshen it up a little bit. And we going to chat. This video ain't going to be long. <laughs> I had a half a bottle left, so I felt like, okay, let me do this. Because I guess the next video, I'm going to go back to either the Walking Dead Chardonnay, since I had like a couple more bottles of that. Or I'm going to do the Camelot Pinot Grigio. I might do the Pinot Grigio. Anyway, I don't know. So let's just get started with this video. So I go shower and figure out if I'm going to do an updo or make it just make it do what it do. Okay. <clears throat> so anywho, because I still got that part in the back from when I had it braided. It looks crazy. See? Yeah, it looks fucking crazy right now. <laughs> but anywho. I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling. Um, <laughs> dude, spiritual warfare, Home Alone style. Y'all seen the movie Home Alone, right? Okay, you saw how Macaulay Culkin, um, when he was like, he wished his parents away, right? And so... He got his wish. He woke up. Actually, it was just basically because he was pissed off about all his family, you know, taking his pizza that he loves and just a lot of people being around and shit like that. And he had always been like being used to being taken care of and shit like that. So he finds himself being stalked by fucking neighborhood robbers that always want to come around and <clears throat> poses you know they was coming around posing as security and shit like that uh going to different neighborhoods that they thought uh something looked suspicious and y'all seen the movie i don't want to give y'all play by play but i'm just mentioning that because i'm so freaking tempted to watch this movie just because okay anywho um I don't really celebrate Christmas like that, but Christmas time, around Christmas time, you can use that jolly ass energy to manifest the fuck out of some shit. And Karina will be doing it, okay? Karina will be doing it. Anyway, but that's just a side note. So <laughs> let's get off into the video. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep Cool Whip on hand just for the fact when I have my red blend because I'm not mixing it with my white wine. No, white wine is to be fine, okay? Red mean you just play with it a little bit. Anyway, so spiritual warfare, Home Alone style, okay? Y'all saw Kevin had some tricks, okay? He already seen that these dudes was up to no motherfucking good. I'm talking about you. That's how you do spiritual warfare. In case you don't really know how to do it. Notice how he made a plan, okay? Every single way that they could have, the robbers could have got at his ass. He had something for that ass. And that's kind of sort of how I do um, when I work with uh, magic. I will set up shit on top of shit. On top of shit. Because I look at it like this. Be like. Okay. If a motherfucker think they're going to come at me this way. Boom. You fucked up. Okay. So they think you're going to come at me this way. Another way. And another way. I'm going to just set up a motherfucking circle. Of some shit. Okay. <clears throat> throw that shit in a circle. And throw that salt in a circle. <laughs> I'm a teeny bit tipsy. But shit. Let's continue. So, anywho. That's kind of sort of how... I ain't gonna say kind of sort of how. That's how you're supposed to, like, effectively fucking do magic, okay? Whether it be candles, jars, 
or you do some super duper elaborate shit, um, <clears throat> whatever the fuck you do. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't just be like, oh, I'm gonna burn a candle to do this. I'm gonna burn a candle to do that. Be like, uh-uh. First, I'm gonna set up protection. Then, no, first I'm gonna cleanse. Then I'm gonna set up protection. Then I'm gonna be like, okay, think of scenarios. Hmm, this person doesn't like such and such and such. How could they get me? Let me see, can I counterattack that shit before they attempt to? Because if you put your shit into motion, when you're intuitive and you know what a motherfucker, like you you just get blessed to see what a motherfucker finna try to attempt to do, you can go around that shit. Facts. Because I already know. I got a bitch right now watching my videos that is hella disappointed. Because she couldn't get at um, me. She couldn't get at the fam. Because, bitch, I already told you. Now the shit hit the fan. Tell me how you feel. Do you feel good about it? You don't. You're like, what the fuck was I up against? Little old me. Little old me, my ancestors. And deities I work with. So anyway, here's the thing. Other topics. Because now I'm I, I feel like I'm done with that. Cause I can end the video right here and be done said all that I need to say. However, I'm gonna say some more. So um <laughs> the power that you respect is the power that you attract. And I'm gonna say that be, to say this. There's some people on YouTube. Who make videos about manifesting and um you know doing certain things and stuff like that and be like well i don't work with deities when i first began doing certain things i didn't work with not a now deity not a now saint it worked however when you get your ancestors involved saints involved deities involved and involved and even though i'm not a christian I still work with certain deities because I just do. I just do. I know the results that I've gotten working alone with just using elements, elemental things. And I also know um, that certain manifestations bump the fuck up. As you build a relationship with your, um, not just your ancestors, but certain deities. Now, if you want to know what deity to work with, search out the deities and their characteristics. Whichever deities embody your personality or you, or basically, no, whichever deities have pretty much the same personality that you have. Work with those deities. That's like the same fucking energy times 10, Okay. Figure out what they like for their offerings. Like I went to um, this little store today that was a, it's a quinceanera store. Like when the Spanish girls hit their 15, they sweet 15 because Americans, like they have their sweet 16, but in actuality in Mexico and um, <clears throat> other, Latin, uh, other Latin cultures, they do uh, quinceanera, which is the sweet 15. Okay, they don't do 16. They do sweet 15. I went to the store. They have stuff like that at the quinceanera store for, um, this store got a little bit of everything. Quinceanera supplies, uh, baby shower supplies, birthday stuff, and low key got witchcraft items. Okay, <clears throat> and some of those things you can actually use for um spell work certain things it depends if you're doing a fertility spell or something like that you can get some of those little baby things or whatever like that just whatever they have like so much fucking stuff um i went there and i found this cute ass fucking um <clears throat> when i i found this cute ass fucking mug that i want to use um to do a libation offering to a specific deity. So when I do it, they'll have their own freaking 
liquor mug or just whatever you do. It's like this. If I'm going to make any offerings to a deity, I want to do that in like the most, I want to spoil your ass type of way. You know what I'm saying? I want to find out everything this deity like. If this deity resonates with parts of me, because deities um, are energies, okay? They may have like a specific form or whatnot like that, and there's this other specific deity, actually two that I'm looking into right now that I love to work with. Because I've been working with certain ones, and they're, like, cool. They're good. Like, I'm going to... The deities that I'm working with, I want to always work with them, okay? And then learn how to work with more. I want to get so good to the point where I can be like, okay, I'm going to work with my grandma, work with my grandpa, work with my other grandma, my other grandpa on the other side, Give them their cigarettes, their coffee. Give my other grandma her cake, her chocolate cake or whatnot like that. Give them specific flowers that they like and stuff like that. Light a candle, be like, thank you, this, that, or whatever. And also, whenever I leave certain um, <clears throat> offerings, whatever it is, I'll make enough for them and enough for me. So when I sit and I meditate and I offer it to them, I'm in the mindset that I'm having a drink with you. I might even clink the glass. Like I'm having a drink with you. I'm going to eat what I'm give I'm going to eat. You we're going to eat the same thing today. Whatever you're having today, I'm going to have today. So it's like I'm feasting with you. I'm fellowshipping with you. I'm talking with you. I want to build that relationship with you. You talk to deities the same way you talk to people like you do in your everyday life. You respect them. They have boundaries, just like you have boundaries, or at least that you should have boundaries, okay? And don't just go to them when you want certain shit. You go to them and be like, okay, I want to build a relationship with you, you know, I want to get to know your ins, your outs, your likes, your dislikes, or whatnot like that. So <clears throat> if you don't work with a deity, that's fine. Nothing counted against you. However, you will manifest things faster when you work with deities, saints, angels, um, whatever it is that you work with. Hell, also, I've, I've looked up some do's and don'ts, too. Certain spirits that you want to work with, if their energy is not an energy that you can handle, don't fuck with them, okay? Because once you invoke a specific deity for their energy to come to you, say like you're this mousy-ass person that's just basically like, oh, hi, y'all, like, I'm shy. I don't, you know, some deities will come at you like, rah, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they don't, you know, they're not going to, all deities that you work with don't have the same personality. Some are real kind and loving and sweet, peaceful. Other ones are like, yeah, bitch, I'm here. The fuck you want? All right. You're going to meet what I, you're going to meet the, the, the little list of demands that I have. And I'm going to take care of you. Don't disrespect me. And blah, 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 blah. Certain deities, certain spirits work like that. Now, if you can't hold up your end of the bargain, you best not fucking try to even contact that deity, okay? And that's just facts. So, I done got to the point where I like learning stuff. It's like deities, like I said, are an aspect of you, specific ones. Everybody working with specific spirit embodies a specific deity to the T. And you have to find out what deity that is that you're embodying. Like... Why do you act the way you do? What spirit is with you? You know, it's like a lot of time and research <clears throat> to go into that. But trust me, it'll be worth it. Because like how I'll know when a specific deity wants to get my attention is I'll start seeing like I may have never heard of it, him or her. And all of a sudden. Things will start popping up in my feed. Or certain candles when I go into different candle stores will start popping up into my existence. Like, 
you need to work with this one. You try to walk away or whatever, mm -mm, no matter where you go, you keep seeing that same deity everywhere. It's, that's one of the ways you know when a specific deity wants you to work with them or they want to work with you. You'll see certain things popping up. Like before I started working with Archangel Barakiel, I had barely, like I was going through some shit and I was like Googling certain um, like angels of blessings and stuff like that. And I ran across quite a few, and I've never heard of Barack Yell. So I was like, mm, okay, that's cool. So a couple weeks went by, then all of a sudden, Barack Yell statues start popping up everywhere. I'm like, okay, what's up with that? So then when I see, I'm like, okay, I had already been working with Barack Yell for like a couple of months, two or three months. Got major results. Major. Like, fucking major. Like, you wouldn't even believe. And I'm like, you know what? I need to go and get one of these uh, statues. When, and I, when I get a statue, that basically is like me putting a ring on it, saying, you know what? I, I want to work with you forever. At specific times, at some point, there's going to be a time where you be like, okay, well, I want to work. I need to work with this deity at this particular particular time in life then I need to work with this deity in a particular time in life like when I first started um doing any type of work like with any type of deity or saint the first saint that I actually did any uh workings with was Saint Jude that worked wonders okay his offering is basically this you get a St. Jude candle, okay? You write your petition out on paper. Leave it open. As I was told in a lot of videos that St. Jude died to, he was a martyr. He was di he died from a blow to the head. So his memory is a little foggy. So it's not like if you're going to write a petition and stick it under something like he can't see it like that. Leave it open, but do it in a place where ain't nobody going to be there and see it or whatnot. Three pennies, a glass of water, and he likes bread. So you can get him like a bullio or you can do like white bread or something like that. Put it on a plate and that'll be his offering. And whenever I do offerings like that, I'll, I have this little box that's made out of alabaster. Every time I work with that deity, I always threw the three pennies, the three pennies. One penny or three pennies. I always threw the pennies in that box. So I still have those pennies in that box to this day. When I decide to do whatever, I'll put those pennies with other monies to go purchase um, something for the deity. That's what, you know, that's what you do. Basically, if you're leaving money out for the deity and stuff like that, either you can just leave it there or you can take it and go buy something for the deity or if you don't have a particular statue for that deity or the 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 saint that you want to work with you can just take that and go purchase as long as it's something for that particular cause and not on yourself you're carrying on honoring them you know what i'm saying so yeah Anyway, I didn't even mean to just get all off into it like that, but I was sitting here thinking because um, if I'm going to work with any saint, deity, archangel, anything like that, I want to make sure that this um, angel, deity, or saint is the embodiment of an aspect of myself. Otherwise, I'd be fucking wasting my time um, just trying to... A lot of people... When I say wasting my time, I mean like I'm trying to give my time and my energy to something that don't want me like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Just like the Holy Spirit don't come somewhere when it's not welcome. Saints, deities, angels, um, demons, whatever the fuck you work with. If it don't feel welcome, it ain't going to fucking come and it ain't going to help you. Okay? I mean... They even believe that in Christian church, too, is like basically like grieving, not the Holy Spirit. But anyway, that's another topic for another time. OK, <laughs> one that we may or may not do. So. um, Yeah, with that being said. I like to make sure. 
that whatever I do, I'm not going to half-ass do it. If I know what the saint, deity, or angel wants from me, I'm going to give it to them. I want to make sure when I set up um, offering tables that it's not bullshit, okay? I'm going to make sure that it's not bullshit and that I'm not half-assing them. You know what I'm saying? Give them what you promised them. Honor them. Even if you ain't doing no workings for that day, still pass by that altar and be like, what's up? I see you. I see you. You bombs to me. They like that. Deities like that, even when you're not working with them and stuff like that. It's like, I want to create a specific space for each one so that when the time comes to work with them, um, work with them at a specific time. But even when I'm not working with that deity, I still want to give them little, hey, I'm thinking about you gifts, you know, anything. Certain little things like when I ordered this necklace off of eBay, um, which is basically a bat coin. I don't know if you can see it. It's a bat coin. Um, yeah. For the food. Okay. Uh, food basically is like the wealth and prosperity and stuff like that. And it's made out of black obsidian. When I got this, I had got like a, um, and it's not a coincidence. I was, um, when I got this right, as soon as I got this in the mail, I had said, I need to go get a gift for uh, St. Raphael because I was working with him on something. And when I got this necklace, I actually received a free gift, which was basically like one of those red string bracelets and it had a fish on it, which represented um, prosperity and everything like that. It was like prosperity and... Um, well, uh, not wealth. Yeah, prosperity and like blessings coming to you and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this to Raphael. So I have it on his arm on my altar. Like I just, I put it there. I was like, you know what? This is his. Because he has a, a stat, like a, a rod and he is holding a fish on the other side which basically comes from um, the book of Tobit, where he used the gall of a fish to heal, um, I forget his name, but he used the gall of a fish for healing. And uh, I need to go back and look at that. So yeah, I was like, okay, with this red string and this little fish on there, there's a wooden little, little wooden fish. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this to Raphael, this is his. I'm not gonna wear this bracelet. This is his as a thank you token. And also gonna get him some flowers. So yeah, that that came in perfect time. I was like, I need to get him something. What am I gonna get him? And I was like, wait a minute, I'm not gonna use this for me, but this is perfect for him. So yeah, start small and work your way up. That being said, let me go ahead and end this video because I could talk for fucking hours on certain shit. But anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye.